Welcome to Barbican and Community Libraries. Welcome to the RB Digital User Guide. Hi, my name is Trish and I'm one of the librarians at Barbican Library. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the RB Digital app to access our digital collection of books, audiobooks, magazines and comics. Firstly, you need to download the free RB Digital app from your app store. And once you have done that, you need to touch register now on the screen. <clears throat> you will then need to choose the country from the drop down menu. Just touch on the little arrow and you'll see a drop down box. Scroll all the way to the bottom and you'll see United Kingdom. Touch to select this. Then touch choose library. And if you tap in the search box, you'll see a pop-up list. If you just scroll down this for a little way, you'll find City of London. Just touch on City of London to select this. You then need to touch Create Account. You will then need to enter your own details, including your library membership number. If you have joined in the library, this will be the number on your library card, including the P. If you have joined online, it will be the number that was generated when you joined. So fill in all the information on this form. And when you have done that, you need to click on the little box next to the terms and conditions. And that pops a tick in the box. And you then just need to touch on register. You will then need to log in using the details you have just created. Make sure you change the country to UK before you put in your login details. When you first log in, you will see the home page. You can scroll up and down this with your finger to see a selection of the stock we have available. You can also use your finger to scroll forwards and backwards through the carousels. If you're interested in a particular format, you can touch on the menu, which is the three short lines in the top left. You will see the options for books and also magazines and comics. If you want to look for an ebook, touch books and then ebooks. You will then see a selection of the ebooks that we have available. If you want to search for something, you need to touch the magnifying icon in the top right. And as we are in ebooks, this will allow us to search for ebooks. You could type in an author's name into the search box. I'm going to look for books by Agatha Christie. So I'm going to type in Christie into the search box. And you'll see the suggestion for Agatha Christie. So if you touch this, you will then see the books we have available by Agatha Christie. And you can use your finger to scroll through the results. If you want to search for audiobooks, you can touch the menu button, touch books, and then touch audiobooks. And then touch the magnifying glass, and you have the same search options. Or you can go back to the home page and touch the magnifying glass, and then you can choose the format you want to search by. I'm going to select audiobooks. And this time I'm going to search for biographies. To do this, I select genre by touching this. And then I select biography from the drop down list. And I only want to see items that are available to borrow. So I touch availability and then I select available from the drop down list. And then I need to touch the search button and I will see the results. And again, you can scroll up and down. And also, if there are more than one page, you can touch on the page numbers at the top. I'm now going to go back to the audiobook page. Under most books, you will see the word checkout, but under some, you will see hold. This is because all of the licenses are currently in use. You can hold, which also means reserve, 
an item by touching hold. You will then be emailed when the item is available to download and there is no charge for this service. Once you've found an item that you would like to borrow, you can just chuck, touch on check out. Just takes a moment to check the item out to your account. If you then touch the menu button and touch checked out, you will see all the items that you have on loan and the dates that they are due back. Please note that magazines can be kept as long as you wish. You will then need to touch the download button. Once the title is downloaded, you will be able to read or listen to it if you are offline. The app defaults to only allowing you to download using Wi-Fi, which is recommended, but you can change this. Go to the menu button, touch my account and then settings and you can move the Wi-Fi slider to the left. Then you can download using mo mobile data, but be aware some files can use a lot of data. I'm just going to touch the back arrow to go back to the check to out screen. You can then select an audiobook you would like to listen to by touching play. If you touch the pause button, it will stop the book. And if you touch the back arrow at the top, it will take you back to the checked out screen. And next time you access the book, it will be in the place that you left it. To read an ebook, magazine or comic, just touch on read. And you can then use your finger to turn the pages. So I'm just sliding my finger across the page and that turns the pages of the book. Also, if you touch in the middle of the screen, two T's will appear at the top. If you touch these, you will see the options to allow you to change the font size and the type and the brightness and so on. To exit this, you just touch the screen twice. When you are ready to leave the book, again you touch the screen in the middle and touch the back button at the top left. And again, when you go back into the book, it will have kept your place. You can also renew and return your items. To do this, touch the picture of one of the items and you will see the option to return and renew. If the renew option is not available, it is because someone else has reserved the item. Finally, if you have any problems, there are help pages. Touch on the menu button and then touch help. And then touch the section that you need help with. When you have finished using the app, there is no need to log out. That way you can easily pick up where you've left off. I hope you enjoy using the app to access our digital stock collection. Thank you.